how are you? My son, I want to personally thank you for being a true and good friend to James. May God continue to bless you, my son. Mama, you don't have to thank me. James has also been a good friend to me. He just got carried away by the river of love and lost his senses. But I am glad the river brought him back and he is back to his senses. I was getting bored of being the wise and serious one. Finally, I can go back to being on serious self. <laughs> We are not serious. Are you going to remain like that? We are not just a friend, but a brother. Thanks, man. Look at my face turning pink. It's like I am blushing off. <laughs> there is food in the kitchen. I made semo and negusi soup with plenty stock fish and meat. Oh, mama. That's why I love you. You always know the way to a man's heart. Thank you, mama. I will eat it later. FFU. For food only. When are you going to ever say no, thank you? Don't you know it is rude to say no to a peace offering? How can I say no when I am being offered with so much love? That is why I call you FFO. Anyway, I have good news for you both. I have gotten a job. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. I am resuming work tomorrow at Cindy's dad's company. I was offered the post of the assistant manager until Cindy is fit enough to resume work. No is Cindy sick? No, she's not. She is pregnant. And it is kind of delicate. Oh, that's good news. May God keep her and the child. Amen. -o. Well, I have good news too. I helped a man fix his tire. And he asked if I was a graduate. And I explained to him how I couldn't further my education. So it happened he works at a scholarship scheme board. Long story short, I am going to South Africa next month to study automobile engineering. I would be a foreigner very soon. By the time I come back, you will not recognize me anymore. Wow, that's a great news. Congrats, bro. I'm happy for you. Well, congratulations, my son. You deserve it. And I'm proud of you. Keep doing good. Henry, you are still around. Won't you be late for your flight? No, mom. Still have some time left. I wanted you to get here before I leave. Don't want my wife to be by herself for even a second in this condition, knowing she's almost due. Honey, I told you not to worry. I can take care of myself. Mom, he worries too much. He wouldn't let me lift a finger. You don't have to worry, Henry. I am here now. You should be on your way so you won't miss your flight. You know Lagos and traffic. Yes, please. You can leave now. Don't miss your flight. Mom is here already. Please, be on your way, my love. And don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I wish you best of luck. And I hope you win the contract. Thanks, sweetheart. I really don't want to leave you by yourself. But making more money is equally important. So I can take care of you. Please take care of yourself for me and I will call you very much often, okay? Alright, darling. I love you. I love you too, mom. Please take good care of my wife. I will be back in a few days. Alright, dear. I wish you a safe journey. How are you doing, dear? Have you eaten? Do you need me to prepare anything for you? No, mom. I am okay. Henry stuffed me up with so much food already. I don't have space for more. Hello? Who is this, please? What are you talking about? What sim? What accident? Henry is my husband. What happened to him? What are you talking about? He just left the house not very long ago. What? Dear, what is it? What happened to Henry? Ah! 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 
James, I am sure you know why we have called you here. It's been a year since Henry, my son, passed on. We have called you here because we are concerned about Cindy. I am sure you are too. You have been a good friend to her since her husband dismissed. We feel it's better you two get married. She needs to move on with her life. I am sure Henry would want that too. Yes, James. I have watched you and I have seen how much you care and love Cindy. So please, help her move on. She was really shaken by the sudden dismiss of Henry. May his soul continue to rest. If you two get married, it will really make us all happy. Hmm. I understand you both very well, sir. But what you are asking me to do might not be possible. Why do you say that, James? Do you already have someone you want to get married to? Or in any relationship at all? No, it's not that, sir. I'm still very much single. Then, is it because we deprive you of being with her at first and asking you to marry her now that she is a widow? Far from it, sir. I love Cindy regardless, widow or not. I don't mind if she has had 20 children. So what's the problem? It's Cindy, sir. She had told me she won't remarry. I want to live the rest of her life as Henry's widow. I can't force her to marry me or to do what she doesn't want to. She is only saying because she is still hot. Yeah, she is a woman. She is only acting that way because another man hasn't entered the picture. Once you enter the picture, the narrative will change. Stop acting like you are not a man. You can make her yours. I know you can do it. I have 100% trust in you. Only you can love her and make her happy again. <laughs> Honestly, it is going to be difficult convincing her, but I will try, sir. Although, if she disagrees, then there is nothing I can do about it. I will not force it. She deserves to be happy again. She will agree. I know my daughter. I will also try and convince her. Yes, we will both talk to her. Don't bother and just express nothing but love to her. And the rest would be history. I want to thank you, James, for everything you have done for me, for your support, your love and care since the demise of my late husband. I don't take it for granted. I really appreciate you. Come on, dear. You deserve all the love in the world. You have sacrificed so much so others could be happy. All I want is for you to be happy and to put on a big smile you always had on as always. At first, I thought I would never be able to move on, but then you came along and made me believe in love again. I pray we will not lose each other and nothing will come between us. Amen, dear. God will keep us together at the old age and we would have lots and lots of children. Yes, I want us to have children as soon as possible. How many kids do you want us to have? As many as possible, dear. We have all the resources in the world to take care of them. You are right, but I don't want my wife to be stressed. Darling, I'm not complaining. Please let them come and stress me. I am so happy. That radiant smile of yours is back. This has made my day. May you continually experience peace, love, and happiness. I love you so much. <laughs> Amen. And you too, darling. I love you too.